What was it like to come out to my Southern grandma? Story time. Before I was committed to my ex-boyfriend at age 26, I was actually crying over like a mid fifties woman. I didn't understand what our relationship meant. I just knew that when it ended, I was really strangely depressed over a girl. At the time I had just left my ex-husband and I was very happily and joyfully living at my grandma's in freedom and getting on my feet. One night, my grandma heard me literally crying and shaking the bed upstairs and she couldn't imagine what I could possibly be sad about because all she saw me was being really happy that I was divorced and safe and everything was good. Like, what could I be sad over now? Definitely not a man and let me tell you why. At this point in my life, I was a serial dater. I got a five-star meal off Bumble every night, but I never went on one more date past a first date with a man. I just didn't connect. I was literally telling myself, you're just really picky. You just have high standards. So at this point, my grandma comes upstairs because I'm shaking the bed, crying, inconsolable. She has no idea why. I haven't connected with a man that she's heard yet. So she's like, what's going on? Why are you crying, Sophia? I didn't know why I was crying either. I didn't know I was a lesbian. But I did process that I was crying over a woman. That I could recognize. Of course, a woman double my age because I got some mommy issues. Not really. I love my mother, but like, I just like older women. I just remember being so sad, like so sad and not feeling unsafe to tell her anything. Like it was just like, what else do I have to lose? I've got nothing to live for energy, right? Just blurted out, I think I'm bi and I was in love with blank and she doesn't want to be with me. Well, my grandma was well aware of who blank was and was like, that's your friend who's like double your age and you're 26, I'm now 30. But at the time she was like, holy shit but she didn't say anything that made me feel judged. Instead, my grandma said, I don't understand, but I will sit here and I will cry with you. Then she sat on my bed and gave me the biggest hug and like held my hand. She squeezed my hand. She didn't make me feel bad. She didn't make me feel shame. She just wanted to make me feel better. She didn't ask a lot of questions. She just said the truth. I don't understand, but I'll cry with you. And those words, they might be simple, but I think they're the most meaningful when it comes to empathy. In the times we really don't know what to say, whether someone's telling you they're gay and you were raised a certain way and you don't know how to respond or someone died, I think those are really good words to live by. From that day forward, when I started feeling better and less heartbroken, she made it clear she wanted to understand. She wanted to ask questions. She wanted to show me that she approved of who I was and that she was proud of me as her granddaughter. Always reminded me it's okay for me to love who I love. And I'll never forget it. I love you, Granny.